Hello everybody. So this is a quick video on uh, how to set up the Metasploitable view on a Mac. So this here is my MacBook Pro with an M1 Max from 2021. And uh, this is my primary, uh, indeed my only machine that I use for my day-to-day -day task. Uh, so while I was, I mean, I've got a lot of... Uh, I've got a lot of people asking me, like, how do I practice? Especially when uh, most of the stuff, most of the stuffs that available for, especially when almost all the resources that are available for the x86 and uh, not for the ARM architecture. So I kind of get asked this question a lot. So I thought, why not to make a video on this? So there's two things that we need. And uh, give me a sec. Okay, so you can search on Google for UTM. And this is the emulator we are going to be using. So not just for emulation, you can use it for virtual machines. So it's technically an emulator that we'll be using. And you can download it either from the Mac store or download it from the web browser. Uh, that's how I did it for me. And then you need to download Metasploit Metasploitable. I'm sorry. So you need to download the Metasploitable. So this is going to take you to a page with two links. And you can click on I drop the link. And once you download that, you need to uh, keep them in a folder. So in my Mac, I have them in a folder called virtual machines where I have them extracted. So you will download it as a zip file and you need to extract and keep it somewhere safe. Once you do that and once you have the UTM installed, this is how it usually looks with the home screen. So from here, let's get into the process of installing, actually emulating. Well, you need to hit the create virtual machine button here and uh, click on emulate. Uh, it's technically a Linux, but let's go ahead and uh, use other. And boot device can be none. Leave it there and hit continue. From the x86, this is what you need to be chosen. And the hardware could be standard, so don't worry about that. And 5 tall megabits of RAM should do. One core, the single core should do just fine. Continue. Don't worry about the size for now because we'll be removing the storage drive and we'll be mounting the existing virtual machine since uh, the virtual machine comes pre installed. So all you need to do is like just mount it instead. So we'll be removing this. You can keep it standard. Hit continue. Hit continue again and name it. Let's name it metasploitable exploit oops meta exploitable 2 once that is done leave everything there and hit save so now you have it here but it's not ready just yet so what you need to do is hit edit and scroll all the way down to the IDE drive. So this is the drive that I asked you to leave it for now. So we need to delete this. Hit delete. So now we do not have any drives. Hit new and hit import. Here you need to navigate to the folder where you have your VM extracted. So from here, you need to choose this file, the VMDK. So this is technically the drive. So choose this and hit open. Now we have the IDE drive here with 1.79 gig size. So this is our drive. This is going to be the boot drive as well. So hit next, go to network. You need to hit bridged. Uh, that's all you need to do. So this is random. So don't worry about it. And leave it there. Display that shouldn't hurt. And there's one more thing. Yep. Okay. So once you need to uh, get to the Cumu settings, 
or QEMU, however you want to say it. Under the tweaks, you need to disable the UEFI boot. I'm not sure about what exactly it causes, but I'm wondering it's about the UEFI BIOS of the newer systems. So having this enabled causing boot issues to the virtual machine, something that I've uh, saw by myself and tested as well. So it is essential to have this unchecked. Once done, you need to hit save. And I hit play. Now you can see the machine is booting. Yep, it's loading. You can see the progress. You can see the progress. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, uh, Myself admin, admin, and let's say IP slash A. Do, 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 do. Okay, so you have config. Okay, so it's 192.168.1.139. So ping 192.168.1.39. Okay, so yeah, uh, I have my terminal right here. You can see it. Yeah, so this Metasploitable here is now working and uh, with your Kali Linux or Ubuntu, you can go ahead and start uh, practicing your web applications or whatever you want to test with the Metasploitable. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to use the comment box and to let me know whatever you think. Until next video, I'll see you. Bye-bye.